Matt and I are in the uh, beautiful town of Buffalo, Wyoming. We are headed north to the uh, Little Bighorn Battlefield, which will be very cool. And then tonight we will head into um, Red Lodge, Montana. We will uh, hopefully be checking in with folks on Echo Link, and also we're going to check in on the Beaverton CertNet. Um, which is held every Monday at 8 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Um, we'll check in via Echo Link from Red Lodge, Montana. And Matt and I are um, just fueled up and um, we are uh, always looking for geocaches. We've got um, two? Yeah. Yeah, we've got two um, travel bugs that we want to deposit. And we've been looking for a cache big enough for. Uh, two travel bugs and we just found one. This is kind of cool. This is um, a cache that is in a little birdhouse. So don't watch this if you're going to be caching in Buffalo, but we thought we'd share this. This looks big enough to drop off these two travel bugs and we're going to pick up two, pick more. Up two more. It looks like there's two in residence, so we'll pick these up. So stay tuned. We're going to take you to this cool geocache. All right, bud. You think we're allowed, are we allowed? Yeah, we're allowed to do this by permission of the owner. Okay. How do we do it, do you know? Yeah, it goes the flips on the bottom. I think the flips actually right yeah. here. There's two of them, huh? Oh, very cool. That's kind of cool. So let's just sit on the sidewalk and... That's cool. What do you think? Civil That's War cool. fan. <laughs> very cool. Let's go check it out. Okay, this travel bug is Terry the Tarantula. And uh, these are the states that it's trying to travel to. Matt's already checked off Wyoming, but we just realized that we also have uh, been in Colorado um, and New Mexico. So we'll check those off and we'll drop him off. And uh, we're gonna take another travel bug farther down the road. 18 August, 2014 in Buffalo, Wyoming. And we are dropping off Terry the Tarantula. Matt and I noticed that when we um, check out uh, geocaches, we, we're always looking for ones with uh, travel bugs because that's kind of the fun uh, moving those guys along. We're always kind of disappointed because it seems almost universally that people don't keep the inventory up to date and log the, um, the um, travel bugs in and out of the cache that they're depositing or removing them from. So Matt just figured out uh, we now know how to log those and we're going to participate in being more accurate when we're doing this. So what, what do you do, Matt? So when you're logging um, your ca the cache, um, there's a little, uh, there's like a little button where, that you push and it says if you want to log a trackable or drop off one. And um, so you, you hit, you click on that and then you just say which uh, travel book it is and it'll be in your inventory. So. And that's when you're logging it and we use geocache.com and we're using our iPhone so this may change depending upon your method of caching but so Matt saying at the bottom of that um, logging window there's a button, button yeah. and um, just as we're as we leave a message and a lot of times we'll leave a photo of the two of us Matt noticed there's a button down there to um, log in or log out the uh, travel bugs and we're going to participate in trying to be more accurate yeah. with that. So we're also going to drop off two travel bugs ourselves on this trip, maybe more depending mm -hmm. upon what we decide. But we're going to pick up our first little trinket um, where? At the uh, Little Bighorn Battlefield. Yeah, so we'll stop at the museum there and pick up something interesting mm -hmm. and send a travel bug on its way. All right. Be safe, happy caching, and I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun. Matt and I just, uh, when things get tense, um, when they get boring on the road, pull over, do a geocache, and everything is good. Matt and I are leaving Red Lodge and heading up uh, over Beartooth Pass, over 11,000 feet into Yellowstone from the northwest uh, ent entrance at uh, Cook City. Now, Matt and I have decided to launch a couple of travel bugs uh, on this trip, and uh, we got our inspiration for the first one at the uh, Little Bighorn Battlefield, and I'm going to have Matt share that with you guys. But the travel bug has a small brass replica button, 
and a small medallion from the uh, Little Bighorn uh, Battlefield uh, gift shop, kind of a commemorative uh, keychain medallion that we thought would be perfect for the um, for the travel bug. So Matt and I found, uh, this is interesting, in Red Lodge there is a muggle-proof um, travel bug lodge and we are searching Camera for that around. Right So now. quick spoiler alert, if you're going to be in Red Lodge, Montana and you want to drop off or pick up a travel bug or log this cache and you don't want to know where it is and you want the fun of the hunt, skip to the end of the video. Um, but I'm going to turn the camera around and Matt's going to give you a quick uh, show of the um, Muggle Proof, which is awesome, uh, Travel Bug Lodge. And Matt is going to launch his uh, first travel bug. We're going to pause after this and he's going to give you a description of it and show it to you real quick. But um, great idea and we're very excited to launch this on our trip. So this is the geocache. Um, it's at the Visitor Center in Red Lodge. Um, and we were looking um, for a while, for about maybe about 10 minutes, we didn't find it. And then we looked in the description and we noted, um, I noticed that the word moose was in all caps. So I figured that had to do something with the cache. And I uh, figured out that the lock, the word moose is the combo for the word lock. So Sweet. for the lock, so. Now where is the cache? Well, you would think it would be in a bush or in a tree or hidden under or a hidden log. under a log or something, but actually it's in plain sight and um, it's kind of it's kind of kind of hard to see, so over your right shoulder. There. Yeah, it's show us inside. It's this guy right here. Um, if you notice, it's not it's not a live box cuz there's no there's no um, electrical wires coming into the box so this is totally safe it's not live so just show you on the inside so that's what, All that's right. what it looks like so we've got somebody we're going to put in residence yeah you're going to tell us about your uh, travel bug yeah i will all right matt tell us about your travel bug so this travel bug um it's one. Of, it's my first first travel bug that I'm going to be launching. Um, mainly inspired by because I'm a big history guy. Um, it was just mainly inspired after we visited the Little Bighorn Battlefield. Um, so my dad thought it would be good. It would be a good idea that um, we launch a travel bug on this trip. And so I thought about it, and I wanted to do it like a historical themed geo, uh, historical themed travel bug. And um, pretty much what this travel bug is, it has, um, it has, it has a, a, this is a replica, but this is a, this is what the Civil War button sort of look like. Um, this is a general, general service button. So it's kind of funny, you would think that some other company would be making buttons that wouldn't be the same manufacturer from back in the 1850s, but um, the Waterbury Button Company, um, they started around 18, 1850s. Um, they still make buttons today and they, they were one of the biggest button uh, makers back, back in the day. So it's kind of cool they still make them. And that's who, made, and that's who makes that yeah. button? Yeah, and they're out of Connecticut. So if you ever get, have a chance to visit Connecticut, be sure to go by the Waterbury Button Company. How many uh, Waterbury buttons do you have that are historic? Um, I have about six, so. So you recognize that button right away? Yeah, and yeah. I knew I knew what it was. Cool. So. What else is on your travel bug? Though? The other thing I have on my travel bug is um, this little keychain uh, from the Little Bighorn uh, Visitor Center, but it's just to commemorate the battle and just wanted to do something for history. So. And what did you use for paper in your uh, in your? In your entry there, I used some right in the rain notebook paper. Sweet. Yeah. And you've already registered the bug? Yes, I registered it last night, so. So we're good to go. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's put it away. All right, let's do it. So this is how the geocache opens. You just pull down on the handle and lift up. That's what it looks like on the inside. It looks like there's a couple travel bugs in there, so probably take those and move them to another geocache. So.
and then I just have to sign the log in. So here's my... Where's the log? Oh, it's up underneath. It's up underneath, yeah. So here's my geocache. I'm just going to put it in there. Which travel bug are you going to grab? Um, I'll probably grab this one. That's what I thought. I've got you wired. Yes, you do. And we'll leave the little bear for somebody else? Yes, we will. And we'll leave that one. The, the one that I little made big last Little bighorn. Little bighorn, yep. Sweet. All right, Maddie, what's the next one? So the next travel bug that we're launching is, um, it's a commemoration of uh, uh, Yellowstone National Park and specifically the Old Faithful Geyser. Um, and I, it just was uh, gonna be, it's gonna be launched so they can travel from each national park to another. And uh, the goal is to just get to as many uh, parks as possible. Sweet, so we're gonna Put it uh, in residence here in uh, Jackson Hole and hopefully on its way. Yep, hopefully. Right. Yeah, that'll Let's be cool. Let's do it. Alrighty. Let's do it. That. Oh, there's our, there's our, go ahead. Way? Yeah, I would like to. Let's see, what, let's see what's in here. I don't see any travel bugs, so. So they, uh, we'll just log ourselves in and drop one off. Okay, we'll do. Well, I was doing a little reading last night uh, while we were getting ready to go to bed, and uh, I have to look this up. I think it might be on YouTube, but. Um, there's a uh, gentleman that made a video. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know anything about it. I just saw the title and put it in my mind to take a look at, but it's on geocaching, and I think it's called Hidden in Plain Sight, and that's what stuck to me is just the title of it, and if any of you guys that are watching this that do uh, geocaching uh, know that uh, it's a fun hobby, and you can do it anywhere, which is, which is cool, and... Um, it's amazing when you start looking um, at geocaches how many are just in whatever area you're, you happen to be at that time and they truly are hidden in plain sight. So Matt and I um, started our day in Jackson Hole uh, town itself in the center of town and if any of you have been there before you know there's a park in the center of town that is um, marked on, on the four corners by a big arch of elk antlers, thousands and thousands of elk antlers forming four arches that lead into the park. Absolutely beautiful. We've been here many times with the kids when they were very, very small and have pictures of them standing under those arches. When Matt and I were getting coffee this morning, we knew that there would be a cache in that park and sure enough there was. And uh, we had to be a little stealthy about it, but there was a cache um, hidden in plain sight and uh, we found it and logged it in while there were, uh, I won't say hundreds, but there was uh, quite a few um, foreign tourists milling about, taking photos, locals, and uh, some other people just traveling through the area. No one ever saw us pick up the cash, sign it, and put it back in place. So a lot of fun. And if you haven't gotten into geocaching, uh, think about it. Check it out online. Uh, Matt and I have been posting videos. We have just a ton of fun doing it. And um, it's a great activity to do with your kids. It's sort of like a, a big game. And uh, the world is the, uh, is the uh, playing board. So check it out, it's a lot of fun. And those of you guys that do geocaching know, it's just absolutely a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for tagging along. Matt's gonna drop off his second travel bug. And then we're gonna scoot down the road we're heading into Idaho today and, um, and then into Oregon. We'll be spending tomorrow on Matt's mining claim uh, for his club. Hopefully he'll find some gold. Um, and then we're gonna uh, head down into Southern Oregon to meet up with uh, Beth. So thanks for tagging along. Logging in your... Mm-hmm, yep. And logging this cache? Yeah.